Hey everyone, I'm Cass and this is my 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, I have just absolutely loved this car. I have a dog, I go skiing, I go biking, I do a lot of different activities and it was only fitting that I was going to get a rooftop tent for my car. I chose Roof Nest um, because awkward. <laughs> my neighbors just saw me. Anyways, it's only fitting that I get a rooftop tent. I had done a couple trips in a Roof Nest, which is the brand I actually ended up getting. I got a Black Sparrow and it is mounted to the top of my car. Exhibit A. There were a few things I had to do in order for it to be super secure and stable at high speeds. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Because of my tailgate in the back of my car, it opens up too high, so I had to mount the tent a little bit further up on the roof. That caused quite a bit of overhang, so there needed to be additional reinforcement. Someone on Facebook in the Roof Nest group named Luke gave me this idea of how to add additional support to the Roof Nest. I am super happy with how it turned out because I can go over 80 miles an hour now. Today I went 90 on the freeway just to test it out. And there was no floppy flop and your girl Cass was very happy. From the back here, you can see that overhang on the tailgate. When that comes up, it is quite a bit forward. So as you can see in the front, there's quite a bit of overhang. These two sear sucker mounts are attached to the top of my car and they support quite a bit of weight. I think around 110 pounds each. I reinforced it with a steel bar that is connected to the track built into the roof nest underneath it. So here are the Sear Sucker six inch suction cup mounts up closer. As you can see, there's a screw into the top of it. It has a female bolt point on the top that is built in and it has a pump that suctions it nice and tight to the roof of my car. There's actually this lube, it's called the lube tube that you put underneath the suction cup and it makes it nice and tight. Should it ever come loose, you can pump it up. The steel bar I believe is an eighth of an inch thick and about an inch wide, I'm not totally sure, but it is steel and I just put it in a vise and bent it manually with my hand and then took a small little hammer to get it to the perfect angle on the top and the bottom. And then I put in the other piece right next to it to match it up. We bent it a little bit to the side um, so that it would lay flat since my roof is a little angled. And here it is attached to the track that is built into the roof nest. I had to order some additional mounting hardware from roof nest and they sent it to me and it came very quickly. I was very pleasantly surprised. As you can see, the bolts overhang a little bit, so I'm probably just gonna grind those off so when I wash my car, I don't hurt my hand on them. These are a really great product. I'm super happy with them and it was a pretty easy solution to a very annoying problem. With approximately 420 pounds of combined support, I am very confident that this is going to be a long-term reliable solution. I would like to add a PVC shower to the side of it, but for now, my baby is looking good. I generally have a bike on the back or a surfboard in the car but now i can sleep anywhere i want it's phenomenal if you have any questions at all of what products i got if you have a jeep grand cherokee and you're trying to tackle some random problem please leave a comment below i'd love to hear them and maybe we can work together through this but yeah this is my baby someone backed into me twice into my door within the same 15 minutes it was phenomenal Absolutely amazing, impeccable driving. Anyways, thank you for watching my first video. And if you'd like to keep watching, I'm just going to have a sped up montage of me washing my car with my dog. Well, I've got you here. I thought I'd just share some of my thoughts. 
the world we're living in right now is absolutely crazy. You know, there's the COVID, coronavirus, pandemic, whatever your thoughts are on that, your life has been affected. California is experiencing record-breaking wildfires, excuse me, wildfires. That's where I am. And the amount of devastation and conflict people are feeling is insane. But people aren't new to hardship. Hardship has always existed and it compounds. And people are trying so hard to survive right now. Just remember that you never know someone's story. You never know what they're going through. And to treat people with kindness, compassion, and sometimes just being a listening ear can really help. Anyways, peace, love, happiness. Bye.